Natural Disasters. It's raining really hard outside. There's lightning and thunder too. Oh, I'm scared. The meteorological department has issued flood warnings for St. Mary's Village. More heavy rain is likely to downpour and might cause flash flood in low-lying areas. Oh, the weather is perfect for your presentation today. Teacher, what is flood? Flood is a type of a natural disaster that can be very dangerous. It can submerge houses and buildings. Flood is a large amount of water covering an area that is usually dry. The effects of flooding include death, damage to buildings and other structures, roadways and canals. It can also affect the power transmission and sometimes power generation. Oh, that's scary! Can you please tell us more about natural disasters? Sure, I'd love to. Let's take a look at this. Natural disasters are sudden and terrible events in nature that usually result in serious damages and many deaths. What natural disaster do you have in mind? Hmm. Earthquake, hurricane, avalanche. Yes, those are right. I know. Forest fire, tornado, and volcanic eruption. That's awesome! Those are just a few of the natural disasters that happen around the world. Did you do your homework about them? Yes, we did! Tips for presenters Tip number one Find out some important facts about your topic. You can use books, newspapers, magazines, or go online. Tip number two Find some pictures. Tip number three Make sure to prepare it well so that you will know what to say. Earthquake is a sudden and violent shaking of the ground sometimes causing great destruction as a result of movement within the Earth's crust or volcanic action. It may cause injuries and deaths. It destroys buildings, roads, properties, and may lead to secondary effects like landslides, fires, floods, and tsunami. What can we do if there's an earthquake? If you're inside the room, find the table and go under it. Hurricane, a violent wind that has a circular movement, especially in the West Atlantic Ocean. On land, the strong winds it brings can damage properties, destroy vehicles, buildings, and bridges. It can be very destructive. Avalanche is a large amount of ice, snow, and rock falling quickly down the sides of a mountain. People caught in avalanches can die from suffocation, trauma, or hyperthermia. Environmental or human factors can trigger these movements. Forest fire, a fire burning in an area of land with many trees that is difficult to control and sometimes spreads quickly. Natural causes of forest fires are dry climate, lightning, and volcanic eruption. It can also happen because of people who are not careful with their actions. Tornado, a strong, dangerous wind that forms itself into an upside-down spinning cone and is able to destroy buildings as it moves across the ground. A tornado can last from a few minutes to more than an hour. It can damage trees, 
roofs of the houses, or worse, can rip buildings off their foundations. Lastly is volcanic eruption, an occasion when a volcano explodes and flames and rocks come out of it. Volcanoes are dangerous. They can kill people and damage property and vegetation. It can also cause respiratory illness, injuries, and burns. Wow! You did an amazing job in finding the information for your presentation.